Where are you going? Where are you? What are you doing? You're not gonna mourn him, are you? No, no, you don't miss him. You, you killed him. Oh, 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 okay. All right, this is about to get intense. Hello everyone and welcome back to another History of Windenburg video. Alright, so I know it's been a while since I've had a History of Windenburg video and I'm so sorry, but we're back now. We, we are definitely back now. Um, so let's just recap what happened in the last episode. We had Ravenna kill King Ar- no, not King Arthur, sorry. Ravenna killed King Henry. Oh my goodness gracious. It's been a while. I'm gonna have to get used to the names again. Um, so Ravenna killed King Henry and he's dead. He's gone. And it's been- we're gonna pretend now it's been like- like several months since he died. So in this episode, we're gonna focus on Arthur and his plotting, his plotting so he can become king and we're gonna see how all that's gonna work. Oh, hey, speaking of, there's Arthur. Would you like to hang out? We don't have cell phones, but sure, yes, a messenger, a, a, a pigeon, what is it? A messenger pigeon, right? We'll pretend that's what it is. Okay, sure. Oh wait, did he ask to come over here or did he ask to go us to go over there? I think he asked to come over here. Oh no, 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 wait. Oh no, don't come over here. Oh, oh no. Well, you know what? It has been months and I think he's getting impatient and he's like, you know, you promised that you would make me king. So wh where's that promise at? What's going on? It's been a while. I'm not king yet. To the point where he's coming to the palace and I'm sure threatening to expose Ravenna, leak some information. I mean, he's he's got plenty against her. Where did you, oh, where are you? You're here. Who are you? Who is this? Jules Rico. Oh, that's a rando. Okay. Um, you wouldn't invite him him in, you would ask to like discuss somewhere else. Maybe ask that day. Probably like, who is this? And she's like, don't worry about it. Oh, he's angry too. He is angry. Where's, there's walls. Who are you? Go away. Just, just go away. All right. He's angry. I feel like now we really don't need this romantic relationship. Also, because we're going to use the arranged marriages mod to do a marriage of convenience in a bit. Um, let's do, I mean, they really don't have any romantic attraction to each other. So let me just, let me do zero. Well, you know, let's do one. Let's have, let's have a lingering one there. Run cheat. Okay, cool. He's angry. He's telling her off. He's like, what's going on? You promised me this. And she just like, didn't want, she kept saying like, this is her excuse. Oh, well, they're, they're not like friends either. Um, but she kept using this as an excuse as like, it would seem suspicious if we got married like soon after Henry died, because you know, it's just so soon. It's too soon. It's too much. 20. All right. Yeah. Maybe that's that's a little low. You know what? It's fine. It's okay. All right, so he's getting angry. So maybe can we, can, let me control him too with the control any sim mod. And then she's like, all right, let's go discuss this in private elsewhere. I feel like this beach has just had so much scandals happen just right on this beach right here. Whoa, what is happening? Whoa. Uh, all right, that's it glitch. I don't know whose outfit is glitching like that. Oh my goodness. All right, you guys need to go to the beach. Go to the beach, beach and talk because this is if there's too many people that could hear around here. He, I love the angry stomps. It's so funny. All right, go to the beach and try to somewhat work it out. So she's like, hold on, let's let's go elsewhere. And then I'm gonna have him. No, where are you going? What do you what's that? He got distracted very easily. Me. Go here and then you're gonna yell at Ravenna. Provoke. Argue you about politics, sure. Throw, drink, shove, rile up, mock outfit. That is a horrible outfit. I think this is jeer, insult. She, okay, it is an unpleasant conversation. Rant and rave, chew out. There you go, all right, rant, rave. Oh wait, where'd it go? Rant, rave, and chew out. So he, he's yelling at her and I feel like threatening her, like threatening to expose her. I should have reshoot on. All right, but he's threatening to expose her and she's just like, okay, okay. Basically, I think that she she doesn't want to get married to him. Like she's holding it off because like if he's in the palace, then it's easier for him to like ruin her plans that she has. Cause she's in charge right now. They're gonna listen to her because her son's too young. But like if he's in the palace, it's more likely for him to like overhear things and stuff. And like he wants to be put in charge. Okay, so maybe she's finally giving in. Well, she's yawning, but pretend she's finally giving in. So she's going to apologize. I feel like this is a very like manipulation tactic. She's gonna be like, oh, you're, you're right, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have done this. 
Um, and then we're going to do actions. Oh, oh, Vlad's calling. Oh, oh, he's probably like, I'm just checking in. She's like, not now. If we do a marriage of convenience. Okay, so if you don't know, I have a, um, a review for the arranged marriages mod, which I'll link below if you haven't seen it. But there was a marriage of convenient op a marriage of convenience options, which we didn't get to. But I'm wondering if I can do it now because I want them to get married, but like I don't want them to need the romantic relationship. So other sims arrange marriage for ask for marriage of convenience. Okay, so are we gonna there? Uh, you know what? Maybe he should be in a better mood. Can I fix that? Can you can you calm down? Calm down, sir. So we can so we can get married. Um, it's gonna be like the mo. Okay, try and calm down. There we go. All right, sir. Please. What is your? It's just lingering anger, and then you're tense about the mouse. Suspicious squeaking. Oh. Also, I have the woohoo wellness mod. I've gotten it. Oh, he's thrifty. <laughs> Um, I've gotten it since we last had an episode, but it says he does not want ch uh, does not want a child right now. They they've had a lot. Um, wait, wait! I swear, her said that she didn't want a child either. Like when I was checking before I started filming, did I just misread that or did it change? I think it can change. I don't. Well, I don't know. I think like if she needs to for plot purposes, <laughs> for her plotting purposes, if she needed to have another kid, she would. But like she wouldn't have a kid because she wants a kid for you know like proper healthy reasons. Okay, he's still angry. It's just lingering anger. There's not like a real reason for it right now. So let me just, you know, cancel that out. Is it gonna, oh, is it not gonna let me? Crap. He's still arguing with her. <laughs> Ravenna, please. Come on, work your charm that has gotten you this far. Cause apparently you've, you've got a good amount of charm. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, oh no, it's still unpleasant. Dang it. Fish for compliments get to know. Is he, oh, okay, good. Now he's energized. Now it's a pleasant conversation. All right. So now, now we're gonna get married. Um, let me, I think we go to other Sims. Yes. Other Sims, and then ask for marriage of convenience. I mean, technically, he's the one who's who's saying it, and she's like, okay, fine, but you know, for this purpose, for the mod's purpose, I don't know if it just happens. Like, we might need to plan the wedding. Oh, okay, cool. They're shaking on it. Yeah. All right, they're engaged. Awesome. So I do. What is the mood lid for it? Do we get one? And no, it just says engaged, and they're happy about it. I'm feeling a close connection. Uh, close connection because of your both evilness. Plan wedding event or elope immediately. We can plan a wedding, I guess. A neutral wedding, yes. Okay, guests. I guess the children. Um, that's it. <laughs> um, a caterer, musician. We don't need all that. Where's the place that they got married at the first time? It's still here, right? Oh, is it not still here? Oh, by the way, this is like right before the uh, weddings pack is about to come out. Like it literally comes out next week. Um, as I'm filming this, it might already be out by the time I get to finish editing this. Okay, so I don't know where the actual uh, place is, the cathedral was that they got married at and I'm currently playing offline because I don't want to update my game because I don't want to break it. So I can't download anything. Let's just... Uh, let's do a pool. It's true. Shall I gardens? I, I just always go here. What? Why not? I go here all the time. Let's go here again. Oh no. Uh, these are all the outfits that everyone showed up in. Change, change, change. Okay, they're all changed except for the, the well, I guess future king. Um, Arthur, he, I, I didn't pick an outfit for him that was formal enough and that was time period appropriate enough. And I don't know what's going to happen if I go into creative zoom. So just ignore the fact that he's in a tuxedo. <laughs> I mean, I guess technically he could get married in... Um, there's that one, which is very casual. And then there's that... Why is he... Did I put a crown on him? Why is he wearing a crown in those? There's that one. <laughs> I don't know if that looks more. That doesn't look uh, age appropriate or like time period appropriate, not age appropriate. Well, I don't know. I... Whatever, we'll go with this one. Once they marry, then, then he'll get the upgrading clothes. It is cloudy, perfect because otherwise Ravenna would die. Um, we're gonna go here and we're going to have them get married. And the children all are, are all are all here. Oh my goodness, I can't talk. Okay, so we have Elizabeth or Eliza. What, do you, do you, do you not know him? I mean, I guess that would be fairly accurate. I can't imagine. Like even Ravenna's relationship with the kids, some of them are too high. I don't think she would have like any relationship with them. It's just, just three. This is a very random number, four. <laughs> 
five. She she would not have a relationship with her kids, like, whatsoever. All right, so they've announced, you know, that they're getting married, and it's been a few months, but they're like, okay, the the dowager, well, I guess the former queen, the, the current queen, the dowager queen, I think dowager queen would be correct, um, but she's in charge. Everyone's listening to her in the palace right now, and of course she doesn't want, oh, let's go down here for the wedding, and of course she doesn't want Arthur to gain that much power, so we'll get, we'll get to that in a moment. All right, so they're getting married. Ooh, kiss Arthur. No, we, you don't need to do that. You guys did that plenty when making the kids. All right, that was really quick. Like, usually my weddings are not that fast. Move in together, yes. We're gonna have Arthur move in. Why did he, he had a lot of money for not having any money. Okay, cool. So now they're married. All right, so, well, maybe we should go back to the palace. All right, thank you. This wedding's over now. All right, and yes, we're all gonna go home. Let's all travel back together. Okay, so, well, okay, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. First of all, I'm gonna have Arthur demand from Ravenna to give him some sort of position of power. Let's have you guys, oh kiddos, you probably shouldn't be here for this. Is there like an office in this palace? No, it's fine, go here. Oh my gosh, I just realized that there's a portrait of Vlad in here. I don't think that would be in here. What's the uh, Princess Eliza? Stop, people need to stop calling. We're not supposed to have cell phones. Um, I want her tease about, oh wait, no, don't tease. No, no, no. Oh gosh, she's supposed to have a good relationship with Henry. Let's fix that. Complain about parents. And then Henry and Derek, accused of touching possessions. Henry and Derek, they, I don't imagine, well, <laughs> these are literally the opposite of, of what I thought. I didn't imagine that Derek and Henry had a good relationship. We're gonna have them be insulting, mean insult. Derek, I feel like is probably a jealousy thing. So I never thought that Derek and Henry got along. Insult existence? I've never seen that. Did I just press that? Oh my goodness, mean insult existence. Okay, can you like parent him or no uh, parenting? Put to bed, oh, is that it? That might be it. But yeah, I, I kind of always imagined this was the relationship thing going on. Who's about new show? Sure, maybe there's a, a theater production nearby. And they're still having an unpleasant conversation. What's the sentiment? Hurt, okay. They feel wrong. Oh wait, does, oh, oh, Ravenna feels wronged by Arthur. Interesting. Although you're the one wronging him, but he's being also awful, so it's kind of a, both of you guys. All right, so now Arthur and Ravenna are talking. Oh, they're, okay, and apparently in a better mood. Let me see, can Ravenna, like, tell him her plan? Discuss evil plans. Perfect. Discuss evil plans. So she's gonna tell Arthur that she's going to send the kids away, and what she's gonna do, and, like, this is, this is what she's telling Arthur that she's doing, um, but it's not really true because like she wants to stay in power and this is mostly for her benefit. So she's telling Arthur she's gonna send the kids away. Um, she's gonna basically say that the kids aren't fit to rule. And you know, at this point in time, it's like absolute. And even though she's like not the monarch, she has so much influence that she can say these things and it, like they can't really argue with her, especially because her son is a child. This is her plan. And Arthur's like, okay, Okay, but I think in his head, he's like, well, where are you going? Where are you, what are you doing? You're not gonna mourn him, are you? No, no, you don't miss him. You, you killed him. I think in Arthur's head, he would be much more satisfied if the kids were not a problem at all anymore. So I wonder if he would go to Vlad about this. Yeah, you know what? Maybe he would because, th so th they were all in on, on the plans here. He, he knows Vlad was in on the plans too, but I think Vlad would be interested to hear him out, even though like, I, f I feel like Vlad's allegiance lies with Ravenna. Oh, wait, can you tell the kids that you're gonna send him away? I don't think there's like an actual interaction about this lecture about responsibilities, but maybe she tells Eliza they're going to be sent away. Parenting, forced to, forced to pee. All right, l let me have her be mean. Um, Yell at, yell at her. Maybe they're gonna get in this big argument, just pretend they're not in the kitchen. And I feel like Eliza's probably the only one really Really, I guess old enough to understand this. Um, mock outfit insult. Um, but she's gonna tell them that they're being sent away. And let's see, is it still daytime? It is still daytime. I am going to fast forward it to nighttime. But pretend this argument is happening during the day and Eliza gets like really upset about it. Let's make her upset about it. All right, cool. Now she's angry about it. Now 
she's upset and it's an offensive conversation and they have slightly a negative relationship so okay perfect all right so this argument is happening she there she's finding out that her and her siblings are being sent away all right so it's now nighttime oh they're still arguing wait fire oh emotional meltdown why is that the fire icon that's not normally the fire icon um but their relationship has gotten real low okay meanwhile i'm gonna have arthur meet vlad and so he's gonna call him over you've met vlad right okay yes they for sure met uh vlad <laughs> Well, that's the one who helped convince Arthur to be in on this plot in the first place. So, oh, wait, wait, they already have a negative relationship? You need to, like, butter him up. Is there a schmooze? Ask to, ask to hang out. Is there a schmoozing option? I think it is a thing with a certain trait, right? Or is that a CC thing? Get to know. But anyway, I feel like they would be, maybe, I don't know, maybe Arthur's, like, not as sneaky. Maybe he, like, um, is having this con- Well, no, you know what? Maybe they are having this conversation here, but, like, off of the palace not like right in front of the entrance um but maybe they are having this conversation but i think arthur is telling vlad um brighton day sure um i think arthur's telling vlad his plan and and thinking and trying to convince him why it would be more beneficial if the kids were just gone completely because arthur's worry is that the kids are going to come back and like try to reclaim the throne so he just thinks it would be better if they're gone and he's telling vlad this and then vlad's like here i can i can help you convince her all right so let's say this is like the night before the kids are gone. Um, maybe they're supposed to leave the next day. So we're gonna, are they still arguing? Dang. All right, Ravenna, stop. Ar okay, that's enough. Now she's gonna come out here. Vlad has summoned her somehow, but they're, they're gonna have Ravenna help plot some sort of accident to happen to the kids. I, I We've already established that this, like there's awful things discussed in this series, right? This is totally something evil that they would do, but we are going to have them tell of their plan to do this. Anyway, I'm sorry, this might be uh, a bit tedious. I'm just trying to like set this up because all right, Arthur, come here. All right, Arthur's in on this too. So they're telling them the, the plot for the kids and I feel like Ravenna's like, that's a good point. Yes, it'd probably be best to have the kids like completely gone. But while they're having this conversation, I can imagine that Eliza is, she's very tense. She's still trying to cool off from the argument. She doesn't want to be sent away. Um, So we're going to just have her walk by. I don't know, maybe down here. Maybe she overhears this. All right, so Elizabeth is overhearing their plot to kill the children. What would what would she do? What would your reaction be if you heard that? Run away? Probably run away. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, all right. This is about to get intense. I don't know how exactly we're gonna do this, but what if Elizabeth overhears this and then she tries, she runs away in panic. So, um, she, well, go here. Uh, can you run? Run, go here. I don't know if she'll run. She's not running. She's just walking. Pretend she's running. What if she like, like runs? Can you, if you go further away? They don't run. They don't run. All right, well, anyway, maybe they realize that she was overhearing. Maybe they, like, see her, and then they are like, um, I, I was about to yell intruder, not intruder, eavesdropper. But anyway, they, they realize that she's overheard. Go to, oh, oh, she's running, she's running, she's running, she's running. Now she's running, and they're like, no, and they're going to use vampire powers? Are you happy because you just got married? No, stop, focus here. Maybe she, like, brings her over with her vampire powers, because how easily could she run away and tell someone and like well she tried to get the kid she's gonna ruin their plan so they're like crap we can't have that happen so they're going to kill her um because they don't want this to they don't want their plans to be ruined and they know easily that elizabeth could do so um so poor elizabeth is just she's trying to save her sibling she hears this she's freaking out trying to save the siblings um discuss stress mood how do i get her over here you know what you know what we can do tool mod this is pretend this is ravenna's magic power she's turned green and she's summoned her here all right so now she's terrified so now we're going to do this i'm gonna use mc command center oh we could do pretend to bite sim commands maintain sim kill sim how should we do i feel like should we frame another drowning incident because that's happened plenty of times already the guards and the staff are just gonna be like why are so many people drowning isn't there a death by fear oh i really thought that was a thing i thought death by fear was okay um i kind of want to do death by killer rabbit <laughs> maybe they they kill her and then they frame it as an animal attack a deathly animal attack i could see that no more drownings we've done that a lot death by killer rabbit oh god is there gonna be an animation here i don't think i've actually seen this before by killer rabbit okay or she just gonna die or or what's gonna happen here oh 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 there's an invisible rabbit oh oh my gosh it's actually like an invisible rabbit i've 
never seen that. Interesting. Okay. Oh, there's a hole. There's a leftover hole. Maybe they put that there to make it look like it was. All right. So they, they, they've killed uh, Elizabeth. Poor Elizabeth. She was just trying to save her siblings. And then she overheard and tried to, yeah, try to save them. But now, now we've got to figure out the situation and we're, we're going to see in the next episode. How are the kids? Are they going to, I mean, obviously you guys know they get away from this because of the family tree, but um, like, how are they going to survive? And then like, what's Arthur and Ravenna gonna do because Arthur thinks that they're gonna do this. So, oh, 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 now you think that she's dead. <laughs> what a cruel fate. I know. Okay, so while the Grim Reaper's doing that, but so Arthur, he thinks that they're doing this so he can become the king. And then Ravenna thinks that she's doing this. Like her plan is to become everlasting ruler of uh, Winneberg or the world. The Winneberg of the world. Maybe she would just branch out to the world at some point. Like Ravenna knows that that's what Arthur wants, but Arthur doesn't know that Ravenna. Ven is tricking him. So we're gonna see that in the next episode and, and what becomes of that. We're gonna see what happens with the kids who I don't actually know how many episodes we're gonna have left guys. I, I think it, you know, the episode, the next episode might be the last episode of the history of Winnenberg. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and end this episode here. So let me know what you guys think. We had some like pr pretty crazy things happen in this episode. Um, and w w next episode's also going to be equally as crazy. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button and I will see you guys in the next next video. Bye!